Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing great. Good morning. I don't know when this is coming to you, but let's have a sip of coffee together before we get into the craziness. All right, I got some notes. We're going to be talking about Europe and its energy crisis. It is absolutely insane, but I'm going to talk today about the disconnect, the absolute disconnect between the leaders of countries, the wealthy class, and if you don't think they're wealthy, trust me, they're getting there real quick because they can uh, vote themselves prosperity. They can trade um, stocks and, and real estate based off of the policies they make. And they know that. You should too. Um, but we're going to talk today about the absolute disconnect between leaders and the uh, poor and middle class, which just so you know, they're the exact same thing right now, okay? Because with government subsidies all around the world uh, for the poor class, there's a lot of middle class going, whoa, wait a minute, these people are making, and I'm saying these people, the people that are not working, are not producing, are not paying taxes. In some cases, they're making the same or right underneath because of the government money that is being given to them than us. And so it's causing more and more people in the lower middle class to just go on that. And that's scary. But this is absolutely an example. This is the energy crisis going on in Europe. Boris Johnson just made the, the, one of the dumbest remarks he could have ever made, right? And I'm sure there's a lot of them, but we're going to talk about one here. But let's let's move over to Central Europe right now. They're in an absolute energy crisis as well, both both Great Britain and um, the EU because of what's going on with Russia. Russia just announced that uh, the Nord Stream 1 is closed indefinitely because of maintenance, or they've got all kinds of different reasons, but primarily maintenance, right? And Germany and the EU are already reeling from high natural gas and energy prices, other energy. And this is absolutely showing the power of a country that has resources. That's why right now we're in a natural resource uh, bull market. That's why I've been talking about precious metals because they are natural resources and they are going to be monetary <laughs> resources very soon here. As you see governments start to print money out of control, but sorry, this isn't a gold and silver video, but natural resources, this is why I've been investing in the mining sector, even though I know it's going to take a hit pretty soon as this market comes tumbling down in the next 60 to 90 days. All right, you heard it at the Economic Ninja first. We're going to get into this stupid quote. And this is, I quote from Boris Johnson. If you had an old kettle, which, you know what, let me stop here. This is his solution to high prices. This is how absolutely absurd and disconnected your leaders are from, from the, the real people, the real economy, the people that are paying taxes. I quote, if you had an old kettle, which takes ages to boil, it may cost you 20 pounds to replace it. But if you get a new one, you'll save 10 pounds a year every year on your electricity bill, end quote. That wasn't a teleprompter too that it took me to actually say that end quote. Guys, I want you to understand this is very, very serious. This is how moronic they are, right? They, they actually know what's going on, but they're trying to appease you. Look, I came up with an amazing solution. You could save 10 pounds. Even though your energy bill is up in the mid hundreds to a thousand pounds, it's okay, I got you saved, I saved you 10 pounds. You're gonna actually have to put out an extra 10 that year, but you know, you get my point. I want you to get my point, the Economic Ninja. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing because I'm gonna shove some logic in places that you're not used to right now. Because quite frankly, the world has no logic. The media is not showing you logic. If they did, they'd say, oh yeah, things are getting bad and it's gonna get worse, which means there's gonna be a printing, an extra printing of money, very similar but actually on speed, <laughs> it's gonna be monetary policy on heroin in like what happened in 2008 to 2010. Yeah, it's gonna get much worse. And this is following 2006 to 2008 identically. The scary part is it's gonna be way bigger. This is the solution. Think about that. If there's ever been a better case right now to go stock up on food and save money and get out of debt, today's the day. Because think about the other side. That's why I started that side hustle course. Because I'm all, this is the time to be making money on the side right now and saving it. Because buying a tea kettle for 20 pounds to save 10 pounds is not going to save the public over in Europe. And when Europe collapses, America's gonna collapse in short order within about four weeks. Get ready for something absolutely massive. And that means get ready. This isn't fear. Uh, doom and gloom stuff. This is called reality. This is reality. And no, this isn't MTV Cribs. This is the good kind of reality. 
because you're gonna go and crush it on the other side, guys. This is absolutely getting bonkers. Guys, I'm gonna make this one short. I hope you got something out of this. There are some dumb people, but this is akin to let them eat cake. Do me a favor, put in the comment section what famous leader said let them eat cake and, and possibly a description of that. I'll leave that for you guys. The description, uh, sorry, the comment section is awesome because Ninja Nation is a group of a million, actually now more than a million people that are prepared, not scared, and trust me, it has nothing to do with your subscriber count. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.